Good morning guys and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop. Got a little something set up here on the operating table I think you might find interesting. Ran into a situation the other day where I was explaining to somebody how to check a fuse with a meter. And there are more than one way to do that, some of which are live. Let's take a look, huh? All right, first things first. Yin's read the disclaimer. You know nothing about this is safe. This is just instruction. Now you take a look at your multimeter here, especially this one. I did a short on this guy. You really need to check this thing out if you haven't. This is probably God's gift to man as far as meters are concerned. We have three things in particular to measure in electricity, at least on the dumbed down area. Voltage, amperage, and ohms. Volts and amps, we have to check while the circuit is live because it's the flow and pressure of electricity that you're looking to find. Ohms, you have to check when the circuit is dead because we're looking for resistance or continuity from one place to another. So this particular circuit is dead right now. Let's check these two fuses in the block here to see if they are any good. See, I get a value on the screen and I get a tone on the meter, letting me know that these are good. A bad fuse, exhibit A, will continue to say OL, out of limits, no good, out of freaking limits. So let's go ahead and energize this circuit and see what we have here. All right, for sake of argument, Let's just say we are in an industrial setting and this is a warning light and this is some crazy computer hooked up to Skynet that we absolutely for no reason cannot power this thing down. Okay, so let's just say something happens to our warning light that it goes out. All right, no more light. Let's say that something happened that light shorted and blew the fuse. So right now we have a live fuse and a dead fuse, which by the way, this is super common to have a fuse block running off of a bus. So you can have multiple distributions of power from one source of power. So to be safe, you would want to de-energize this circuit to check that fuse by ohming it out, which you have to do de-energized. But in this case, we can't power down this super important computer because Skynet will take over the world. But I need to check the power source for this light to get the system up and operational again. If you take your meter and put it down to voltage, voltage on a multimeter checks differential between one probe to the other. That means there has to be a difference in voltage from one probe to the other. There has to be a reference. There has to be power on one and none on the other or a difference between the two. So if you think about a fuse in a live circuit, I have my power coming in, power going out to the load. So if this fuse is blown, that means I have power on the top side of this fuse and none on the bottom side of this fuse guess what? That's a differential that we can measure with voltage while this circuit is live. So let's go ahead and check this fuse with voltage. Look at that. I have a difference in voltage on this fuse. That means this guy is dead. Look, I'll go ahead and check the one that's working on our Skynet computer. Nothing. I have zero potential difference between the top and the bottom of this fuse. That lets me know that I have power completing that circuit because there is no difference that these probes are seeing. On this side, there is 120 20 volts difference from one side of that fuse to the other. That lets me know for sure and definitely without powering down this circuit that that fuse is blown. So in this particular case, you can take these fancy insulated fuse polars yank that guy out and replace it with a good fuse and the people of the world are now warned again that Skynet computer is ready to go. 
So I really hope this helps somebody out. I'm gonna go ahead and link this down in the description again, just in case you didn't see my short. These things are a lifesaver. There's nothing that you can't do with this. In a situation like this, that little tip could be a lifesaver.